Hi there, my name is Erica, and in this Lens Studio tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Face Mesh template. The Face Mesh feature creates a 3D mesh that mimics the user's face as it changes. This template shows you how you can use 2D or 3D content, as well as the Material Editor, to create a unique face effect. Let's get started. First, open Lens Studio and select the Face Mesh template. This template comes with different examples to help you create a unique lens experience. Let's take a look at each of them and see how they work. The Material Editor example demonstrates the use of the Material Editor's material on a face mesh. In this example, we used iridescent material from the Material Library inside Lens Studio. To open the Material Library, select the Material Library button in the Inspector panel. Now let's select a hologram and click on the Add button. This will add the material to your project resources. Lastly, we'll use our material on our face mesh by selecting the face mesh object and applying the material in the inspector panel. Take a look at the material editor guide on the Lens Studio website to learn more about how you can create your own materials. The extrude example allows you to create a 3D mask based on a 2D texture by simulating an extrusion effect by duplicating the face mesh multiple times. The extrusion is done through the Face Mesh Extrude script, which duplicates the face mesh in the specified direction. To customize how your texture is extruded, select the Face Mesh Extrude object in the Objects panel and adjust its settings in the Inspector panel. To specify the direction of the extrusion, modify the extrude direction values, where each parameter represents the X, Y, Z direction of the duplicates relative to the orientation of the face mesh. You can also choose how many copies you want by changing the count slider. The pin to mesh example demonstrates how you can use the pin to mesh component to attach any object onto face mesh object, which will react to the facial movement. Let's create a sphere and attach it onto the user's face. First, in the objects panel, select add new sphere, then select the newly created sphere, and then in the inspector panel, click on add component and select pin to mesh. Next, we'll set up our pin to mesh component to work with face mesh. To do this, set the target to the face mesh and change orientation to position and direction. Then, make sure vertex normal is checked. Now, you should see your object track the position and direction of a specific point on the user's face, even when the user changes their facial expression. The shiny face example uses the reflection of a material to create an effect on the user's face. It contains a helper script, which will rotate the environment map based on the time and loop count to animate the reflection. To customize the rotation speed, select the Rotate End Map Controller Edit Me object in the Objects panel and adjust its settings in the Inspector panel. You can change the rotation speed by changing the duration value. You can also change the number of time it loops by changing the loop count. If you wish to have an infinite loop, change the loop count to negative one. You can import your own environment map to change what your face mesh reflects. To do this, import an environment map by dragging and dropping a .hdr file format into the resources panel. This will automatically create both a diffuse and specular map that we can use in our lens. Next, select the shiny face env map edit me object and replace the environment map with the environment map that we just imported. Setting the diffuse env map and specular env map with the new files we've just imported. Take a look at the face mesh template page found in the Lens Studio website for more in-depth information. Thanks for watching and have fun creating your own face mesh lenses.